Hello. So, um, one of the ways I've been working on trying to uh, keep us all connected together is looking at different uh, social media or, or video applications. And so I have set up a new uh, YouTube channel for Greenwood ARP Church. And I thought one of the things I would try in order to, uh, to test this out was to make a video um, for our kids and uh, to reach out to the kids of the church. Uh, they, uh, they probably miss gathering together with one another and gathering together with the people at church as much as the rest of us do. And uh, I, I just wanted to reach out to our kids and to let you know, kids, that you're being thought about and being prayed for on a regular basis. Uh, your Sunday school teachers are thinking of you, your elders are thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. And uh, we're looking forward to being able to get back together again. But until then, um, I've been walking around the church in different places, and as I walk around the church, I, I think about everybody at church. I, I walk into different rooms and different places, and I see your faces, and I hear your voices, and I, I hold you up in prayer, and I think about you. And I thought one of the things I might do is uh, come to one of our Sunday school rooms and to look around and to see, uh, see the messages that are given to us that I think are good not just for our kids, but also even for our adults. So. Here I am in the, the younger elementary school classroom, and I thought we would take a look around. Here we are, and see some of the posters that are on the wall, some of the things that our kids are learning. And here we find one about what does God's world show us. God's world shows us uh, uh, God's goodness, and God's beauty, and God's power, and God's wisdom. We can, we can learn many things about God as we look around at the world. But obviously, we need to do more than just learn about God. We need to know who God is, and that's why it's so important that we learn God's Word. Because God's Word teaches us how to love God and how to obey God and what to believe about God. And believe, in, Indeed, God's Word teaches us about how we should see the world. And so we can really see God's goodness and beauty and power and wisdom in the world around us and understand who God is and what God desires of us, and that we can give our hearts to him, worship him, and follow him. God's creation, God's word, we learn much about God. Here we have a poster about uh, God's grace and mercy and love. And of course, we come to, to, uh, to know God's grace and mercy and love through Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his resurrection. The cross is a symbol of God's love for us. God's grace. Grace is God giving us what we don't deserve, and mercy is God not giving us what we do deserve, and God's grace and mercy point to the love of God, and we see all of that revealed for us most clearly in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Here we have a poster. It must come from some Sunday school lesson. I don't see any particular caption with it that tells us what's going on here. Obviously, it's a group of priests in the Old Testament standing outside of the tabernacle. I don't know if this is Aaron and his sons or maybe Eli and his sons. Obviously, the, the two younger priests there are, are giving him attitude. So I'm not sure what this story, what this poster goes with. But if one of the Sunday school to teachers would like to uh, respond to this video and tell us what, uh, what's going on in that poster story, we'd, we'd be glad to know what's going on there. The Ten Commandments, uh, how we know what God asks of us, how we shape our lives in order to, to worship God, to glorify God, and to, to show God's righteousness in the world. And we have on the first tablet, worship only God, and have a special day set aside for God. In fact, it's God himself who set aside a special day for us to worship him and to glorify him. And even though we're not able to come together right now and do that, we can still worship God in our homes, with our families. We can even worship God online, even though that's probably not the best way for us to do it together. It's, it's a way that we've been provided, and we can glorify God together as we gather in his name to worship him. Here we have the other tablet. Love your mother and father. Do not hurt one another. Do not take things that are not yours. Uh, uh, maybe we can give some extra points for the commandments that we need to remember that aren't on here. We have some posters of our missionaries, and our kids remember and pray often for our missionaries, and we give thanks for them and for their work, and we, we, uh, we look forward to, uh, to continue holding you up in our prayers. 
We have some Bible verses on the wall. Here is one, this is love, not that we loved God. And of course, the important second part of that is that God first loved us. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he first loved us. And so it's through God's love that we come to know what love really is and come to know how to love God. Not just any old way, but we come to learn to love God God's way and love one another God's way. Our kids have much to learn about the Bible and we want them to learn uh, the books of the Bible and how those books are written and what they mean and how they're laid out. And so we have a poster here that can help our kids do exactly that. And they learn Bible verses. We've got a verse for March. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Psalm 119 verse 18. So kids, continue to learn your March Bible verse. And I'll ask your Sunday school teachers what the verse is for April. And we'll put that one up so you can begin memorizing April's Bible verse. We have some spring memory verses. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Psalm 119 verse 18. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find a light. Psalm 119 verse 35. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. Psalm 119 verses 9 and 10. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. The importance of memorizing God's word is that we might learn how to live towards the Lord, to glorify God, to honor God in our lives. Psalm 119.11, hide God's word in your heart, memorize it. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father full of grace and truth, John 1.14. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, John 6, 68. God has the word that we need. We need to hide it in our hearts. We need to live by it, shape our hearts by it. Our kids also take time to learn uh, parts of the catechism. Here we have, who made you? God. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you in all things? For his own glory. These are just a few of the things that's in the Sunday school room, the younger, uh, younger elementary Sunday school room. I hope, uh, um, hope our time together in, the, in uh, Sunday school is, is, uh, has been a blessing to you. Kids, I hope that you know that you are being thought about and prayed for, that you are loved, that God loves you, your Sunday school teachers love you, your elders and deacons love you, uh, and I love you. And we look forward to being able to to come together again and worship to, together again, to fellowship together again, to resume our Sunday school activities and our youth groups and our tweens group and our catechism club and, and to worship and to praise the Lord. But in the meantime, until we're able to get together again, pray. Pray for those who've been uh, infected with the virus. Pray for the families of those who've been lost. Uh, pray that this virus will come to a quick and swift end. Pray for the Lord's continued blessing upon us and uh, uh, pray for your families. Until we come together again, there's much we can do to praise the Lord and to worship God and we're going to try to continue doing all of those things and we'll try to do as much together as we possibly can. So look for more videos, look for uh, messages from your Sunday school teachers, um, look to worship together online and until we're together again, know that God loves you, bless you. See you later.